Someone left a comment in one of my videos fairly recently asking me to review this book. So I thought I would just sit down and make a quick video to show you this book. It's got a really cool cover and it's a very rare book, I think. It's called Multiple Integrals, Field Theory and Series. It's by Budak and Fomin, Mir Publishers, Moscow. I bought this book because I collect math books. I've always collected things. In the past, I've collected comic books, coins, and Magic the Gathering cards. But math books are a special kind of collectible because you can actually learn from them. So you can collect math books, buy them as collectibles, and then read them from time to time and work out exercises. They are collectibles that actually give you knowledge. The book covers branches of mathematics increasingly required by physicists, such as multiple line and improper integrals, the theory of fields, and power and trigonometric series, based on lectures read by the authors in the physics faculty of Moscow University. The book endeavors to show the connection between the various mathematical concepts and their applications, and wherever possible, their physical sense as well. The back of the dust jacket has some interesting knowledge. Let's go ahead and read some of it together. About the publishers, Mir Publishers of Moscow publish Soviet scientific and technical literature in 11 languages. English, German, French, Italian, Spanish, Czech, Serbo-Croat, Slovak, Hungarian, Mongolian, and Arabic. Titles include textbooks for higher technical schools and vocational schools, literature on the natural sciences and medicine, including textbooks for medical schools, popular science, and science fiction. This is the look at the book without the dust jacket. I always think it's really interesting to look at that. And it has, I believe, what is called a cloth cover. Yeah, look at that, it's beautiful. Let me just gently pick it up here so you can see it. Multiple integrals, field theory, and series. Wow, wow, it's like pristine. What a cool book. Very nice. First published 1973, second printing 1978. And then here it says English translation, Mir Publishers 1973. So apparently this is the second printing and it's a translation. Let's take a close look at the contents. I think you're gonna be blown away by the amount of mathematics in this book. Double integrals is chapter one. So you can see here all the little subsections. I do like how the authors break it up like this in the contents. Notice the page numbers. So 47, 48, 48, 49, 50. Everything is broken up very nicely. Chapter two is on triple integrals and multiple integrals of higher order. Lots of little subtopics. I really like how it's all broken up into like tiny little subtopics. Chapter three is on elements of differential geometry. Tons of knowledge in this book, more than you would get in a lot of other books. Chapter four is on the line integrals. You have line integrals of the first type, line integrals of the second type, Green's formula, conditions for a line integral of the second type being path independent. And then over here we have surface integrals. A lot of these topics you would see in a calculus three course Then field theory, really cool. And it just keeps going. There is so much mathematics in this book. Chapter seven is on tensors. Let's keep looking here at some of these other topics. And we'll look at some of the math in this book in a minute once we get through this intense table of contents, functional sequences and series. More of the topics here, just so much math in this book. Improper integrals, integrals dependent on parameter, Fourier series and Fourier integral. And we've almost reached the end of the contents. I'll try to go a little bit quicker here, but you see there's just a lot of math. So you could actually sit down with this book and at least be exposed to a lot of the mathematics that's in it. This book is not really an easy read. It is pretty, you know, terse, I want to say. It takes a lot of effort to, you know, really get through a lot of the mathematics. Here's the very first chapter on double integrals. The definite integral, the integral of f of x with respect to x from a to b, is connected with the problems of determining the distance passed over a given speed, computing the area of a curvy, linear trapezoid, etc. There are many similar problems involving functions dependent not on one, but on many arguments. A typical problem of this kind is to find the volume of a curvilinear cylinder, which is a three-dimensional analog of a curvilinear trapezoid. Elements of differential geometry, and this is a pretty good introduction because I feel it's fairly understandable and fairly clear. First, it talks about a vector-valued function. So if you've taken Calculus 3, you have studied vector-valued functions and you'll know that 
differentiating them and integrating them is actually very easy. It's not difficult. And the book discusses that here in this chapter. Differentiation of a vector function. A vector function r of t is said to be differentiable at a point t if this limit here exists. The limit is called the derivative of the vector function r of t and is denoted by, and they give you various notations. You can see that this definition readily agrees with other similar definitions. For example, the derivative of a single variable function is very similar to this one. Oftentimes you have the limit as h approaches zero of f of x plus h minus f of x all over h. You can replace h with delta t and r with f, and you pretty much have exactly the same thing. A lot of the mathematics is very accessible to a person who has some knowledge of calculus, and a lot of it will be review, which make it a really fun book to read if you already know some calculus. If you're trying to use this to actually like learn and you don't really have a calculus background, I think you're going to have a very, very hard time with a book like this, but it's really refreshing to see this type of book if you already have some background in calculus. Chapter eight is on functional sequences and series. Let's just go through and look at some of the mathematics here. So we have convergence and uniform convergence, something you might be familiar with if you've had a course in undergraduate. I just have to give it a whiff here. It just, oh, smells so good. Chapter six is on field theory. It says here, the concept of field forms the basis for various notions of modern physics. In this chapter, we shall present the elements of mathematical theory applied to investigating physical fields. In physical problems, we usually deal with quantities of two basic types, namely scalars and vectors. Accordingly, we shall consider two types of field, it est scalar fields and vector fields. So this is something that you may not have seen in a calculus textbook. You might see some of this in a calc book, but there's a lot of stuff here that you normally wouldn't see in a typical calculus book. So you're getting more exposure to a lot of mathematics. This book does not have any exercises in it, so you can't really practice what you learn as much as you can with a regular textbook. But again, I think this is a great book for collectors, and you're gonna get different explanations, explanations that you won't get in other books. I think this book is super cool because it has super interesting topics, and I don't think I have any other books like this. This is the only one that has you know, this sort of mathematics all in one textbook. There are two supplements that come with this book. They're in the back. The first one is on asymptotic expansions. In many problems of mathematics and mathematical physics, the investigation and computation of a function f of x in the neighborhood of a finite point x naught or in the neighborhood of the point at infinity is connected with considerable difficulties. These difficulties may often be overcome by means of an asymptotic expansion which substitutes a simpler function for the given function f of x. And here you can see some of the things that are explained in the textbook. These are familiar formulas that you might have seen if you've studied some calculus already. Really cool. The second supplement is on universal digital computers. This supplement provides an introduction to modern digital computers, their operation and use. It cannot be regarded as a systematic account of the computer theory and programming, methods, and for greater detail, we refer the reader to special books. So it talks about computers, and it's kind of cool because this was published, at least the first edition, in 1973, well before the existence of the internet. Very nice, talks about storage. Memory is the section in which instructions, initial data, and intermediate results are stored and from which they can be taken. A storage is a set of locations, cells, each of which is identified by a number. This is really, really cool. Input, memory, arithmetic, output, control. Just a look into the past. Yeah, what a cool book. This is a really, really fun book. And again, as a collector, I just think it's really, really fun to have books like this and just sit down and maybe sit down for 30 minutes and just read some of it. I think you can learn a lot of mathematics. That should give you an idea of what this book is about if I can find this book, I will try to leave a link in the description in case you want to check it out. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Until next time, good luck and take care.